From being a tennis star at the age of 12 to being the first woman to play a superhero when she starred in the television movie Wonder Woman, Kathy Lee Crosby is an absolutely legendary woman who is often overlooked when it comes to talented female actresses. From her golden blonde hair to her deep and sultry voice that she is known for, Kathy Lee has proved herself to be a legend. In this video, we're sharing a few facts about Kathy Lee Crosby and letting you in on all the secrets that you've probably never heard of before. But before we're getting into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Kathy Lee's parents were incredibly involved in the entertainment industry. Born on the 2nd of December, 1944, Kathy Lee Crosby's parents were heavily involved in the entertainment industry before she even thought about starting a career as an actress. Kathy Lee's father, Lewis Clayton Crosby, was a scriptwriter and songwriter, and he was also the national commercial spokesperson for Dodge Automobiles on an American televised musical variety show called The Lawrence Welk Show. Kathy's mother, Linda Hayes, was a radio contract actress for RKO in the 1940s. Because of this, Kathy Lee was no stranger to the entertainment industry when she began her career. Crosby was only 12 when she began playing tennis. Kathy Lee's natural talent for tennis was recognized when she picked up the sport when she was only 12 years old. She continued to play the sport throughout her schooling career and she was a top competitor on a national level throughout the majority of her childhood. Kathy Lee ranked as high as 7th place in the U.S. Junior Tennis Competition for the singles category and she played the doubles category with her sister, Linda Liu, and the pair came in at number 4. Kathy Lee was so successful that she even played at the Wimbledon Championships twice in the doubles category alongside her sister. Kathy Lee graduated from the University of Southern California. Kathy Lee was not only beautiful and talented, she was also extremely gifted in her academics. After graduating from high school, Kathy Lee enrolled at the University of Southern California and she intended on graduating with a pre-med degree to pursue her dream of becoming a doctor. However, in an interview, she mentioned that she eventually chose to change her major simply because she found it too difficult to study. Crosby confesses that she made it through her bacteriology class, but she didn't feel as though the pre-med route was her calling, and eventually switched her degree to sociology and psychology. She graduated from USC in 1968 with a degree in psychology, earning cum laude honors. Kathy Lee was only married for two years. When she was only 21 years old, Kathy Lee Crosby married American real estate company executive Alexander Wilfred Engel in 1966. Unfortunately for the couple, they filed for divorce only two years after they got married and were eventually granted a divorce in 1972. Because Crosby hadn't started up her acting career at the time, her marriage remained quite private throughout her life and she never spoke about her ex-husband publicly. After her divorce, Kathy ended up dating American actor Richard Roundtree, however their relationship didn't last long either. She stopped playing tennis after she got sick. Kathy Lee Crosby eventually gave up tennis despite being a great player of the sport. She reportedly stopped playing tennis around the 1970s, and she didn't even play tennis in her spare time, which is something she often enjoyed doing before she took on the sport professionally. In an interview, Kathy Lee confessed that the reason she stopped playing tennis was because she was sick with mono, which is a common illness that teenagers and young adults contract that often causes extreme fatigue, high fever, and body aches. Kathy Lee mentioned that while she was sick, she lost all of her desire to play tennis, so she never ended up playing the sport after her recovery. Working with incarcerated youth is a passion of Crosby's. Working with incarcerated youth has always been a passion for Kathy Lee Crosby. She began working with incarcerated youth in 1981, and in 1985, she even made an appearance at a prison with stockbroker Ira T. Distonfield. Kathy Lee would often talk about her career as an actress and model and attempt to make the inmates feel as though they had things to look out for when they left the four walls of their cell and re-entered the real world. She would also often talk about her career as a tennis player and advocate for inmates to have a healthier lifestyle. Kathy was also reported to have been a teacher to at-risk youth that lived their lives behind the 
the prison walls. And although it isn't known when she stopped helping out at juvenile detention centers, it has been reported that it was a hobby that she kept up throughout the majority of her career. Her ex-boyfriend sued her for half her net worth after they broke up. In the early 1980s, Kathy Lee was rumored to be dating Joe Theismann, a former Washington Redskins quarterback. Theismann was said to have left his wife for Kathy Lee, and the couple were together for an incredibly long time. So much so that the public believed that she would marry him. The couple were together for so long that they had even purchased real estate together as they owned a house in Santa Monica, and they even created the Angel Acres Trust to manage their 103-acre farm. However, seven years after they began their relationship, rumors broke that the couple ended things between them and that it was a bad breakup. Eventually, their relationship was confirmed to have ended in 1991, and Theismann sued Kathy Lee and claimed that she owed him half of the value of their Santa Monica house if she wanted to keep it, and he threatened to sell the home if she didn't give him the money. Kathy Lee countersued, and eventually the two decided to settle the debate outside the court, and eventually Kathy Lee ended up paying Joe Theismann over a million dollars. Kathy Lee absolutely loves adventures. Throughout her life, Kathy Lee has always been a thrill-seeking adventurer. Not only does she absolutely love high adrenaline activities such as skydiving and racing cars, but she also loves taking on new challenges and learning new skills that she is unfamiliar with. In an attempt to learn a new skill, Kathy Lee even got her license to fly a plane, and it has since become one of her favorite pastimes. In addition, Kathy Lee has also been involved in various forms of ballroom dancing, and she has even practiced aerial stunts and other tricks that she uses on the dance floor. She is an avid collector of art pieces. Aside from her vivacious personality, Kathy Lee Crosby is also an avid art collector. We'd say that her collection is quite legendary, as she owns pieces from incredibly famous artists such as Dolly, Picasso, and Miro. Kathy was so interested in visual art that she even began taking classes and learning to paint herself. And so her collection at home even contains some of her own pieces. Now tell me that that isn't absolutely legendary. Which Kathy Lee Crosby facts caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comment section below and check out the next video in this series. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. To make sure that you never miss another one of our videos, hit that post notifications bell so that you are notified each time we upload a similar video. Thanks for watching.